Hi folks, Paul here. Just a quick update on my iCharger problems. So if you remember, I managed to plug 26 volts into the power input instead of um, maximum of 18. And that caused this MOSFET to die, um, causing the outputs to short, which was most unhelpful. Um, so I went and got a couple of these and um, pulled out the bad one, put in a new one, had a really good look around for any other potential problems but couldn't find anything. Um, so then I plugged it all back in um, and the same shorting problem is still there. So... Um, there's something else wrong with this and it's slightly beyond my skill or patience level to work it out. So if you know someone who can fix this and wants it, uh, let me know and I will send it to you. In the meantime, I have bought myself a whole new one, which is good because I have more things to charge. Okay, so what we have here is a tray, my charging tray for charging and discharging these pouch cells that have come out of old e-bike batteries. And I've made up this harness so that I can do 10 at a time using the I charge as 10 port. That goes there. That goes there. And there. Put that up to the negative. And up there. So I've got disassembled another e-bike battery. Um, so I've got another 30 of these or so. 36 maybe. Um, so I need to balance charge them and then discharge them and work out. Uh, also measure the internal resistance and the uh, capacity. So away she goes. So that's 10 going there. That'll take several hours. Then I'll come back and do it all again. And once those are all done, I'll show you my cunning plan for how I'm going to wire these all up into one big, uh, one kilowatt hour power wall. Alright, until then, thanks for watching. Cheers.